Hey, it's me, Jojo from Jurors and Shocker. I have something to say. Here's just a sampling of some of the things I think on a daily basis. Republicans call themselves pro-life, but they'll force a woman to carry a fetus that can kill her. Jim Jordan is talking about not complying with a congressional subpoena, but he didn't comply with one. Did Trump just say that the stock market he bragged about every 14.7 seconds breaking the record for an all-time high under Biden is bad? because it's making the rich richer and he's just a politician now chugging along wasn't he standing in front of a courtroom like the other day saying that he was much richer than the judge in that case says he is he held thousands of rallies where the cult screamed mexico when he asked who was going to pay for the wall but now he's saying he never said that at all Republicans tried to overturn a legitimate presidential election. They plotted a coup and incited an insurrection. They tried to invalidate 81 million votes to essentially throw them away. But when the state of Colorado disqualifies Yam Tits McDictator because he engaged in said insurrection, they scream, let the people decide. The people decided they didn't like our decision, so they told us our decision wasn't real. And then they broke a bunch of laws to make it so our decision didn't matter. And now they're screaming about Biden being a threat to democracy? But that doesn't make sense. That's crazy. Everyone knows it's crazy, but no one seems to be talking about it, or at least not about how it's totally crazy. So maybe it's, maybe it's, maybe it's me. Am, am I? Holy shit. Am I losing my mind? Don't ask my kids this question when I have just found a half-eaten container of guacamole under my couch pillow a day after it was left there because they're likely to answer in the affirmative and they're known liars, which means that they are not to be trusted. <laughs> Besides which, who the fuck would be like, oh, isn't that sweet? Johnny left his guac from yesterday here for me to find under my pillow a day later. Literally no one. That's who. But I digress. I'm not actually losing my mind. And chances are that you aren't either. We're being gaslit. It's a gaslighter's paradise out around here these days. And gaslighting Palooza is the name of the game by design. And we have to push back with the truth. You can find more of this rant um, over on my Substack, my Are You Effing Kidding Me Substack. And that does it for today's rant. See you next time.